Hi, Peter here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your backtesting environment in CTrader. Really useful to find the best settings for Novabot for your particular preferred asset. So here, if you go to Automate on the left-hand side of CTrader, you'll find list under CBots of your algos. In this case, I've got Novabot, and I'm going to install by clicking the plus button the asset US Tech 100, which is my preferred asset. The first thing you need to do is change the time period. It defaults to one hour to the one hour chart. I'm going to go for the 100 ticks. You can either access the settings of your bot through here, or if you've got this panel visible on the right hand side here, uh, you need to put in your license key. And once that's in place, you go to back testing. And you see this is in red, the little settings here. You need to click on that and change this to tick data from server and put zero commissioning. None of these challenges use commissions. And then for the actual interface, I like to load, put either load the momentum indicator Another what momentum, or if you have a template saved, then simply install the uh, relevant template. So there's my template. And then this is the date range that you want to test. So I'm just going to go for yesterday, 22nd of June. And if you just click visual mode, then what happens is Novabot will start up and play back according to the speed you have set here. It defaults to 100. I don't know why it does that because it's too much. But just to show you that 1x is real-time speed. So you click play. And basically, you have your full trading interface. And then what you can do, for example, is go Click on this and you can drag it to the time period you're interested in testing. So, for example, New York Open, which happens at 15.30. There, and then you, it takes a little lag for the screen line to catch up. And then once it reaches here, it'll start playing back the scenario just as if you were sitting in front of the chart yesterday at 3.30. And then another what's in paused. So you can go ahead and you can you know, turn, turn another bot on and then see what would happen. And um, the speed here, you can increase. If you increase it too much, I find the bars don't paint correctly, but sort of five times it seems to work. And then see, we didn't get a, a sell there because we never got the 20 target. Yeah, we're very close to the 18 target, but we still read, so it didn't take a trade. It needs both of those to be synced. So this obviously the candles are happening much quicker than normal because it's speeded up five times. So there's the and there's the valid trade. Um, there's the, the TSL has kicked in. Now the only thing that one of the things that is different in the back testing, or well, one of the things you can pause it. For example, you can just click pause, which is really useful, or you could slow it down. Um, when you add or subtract to a trade, you don't see the deal map like you do in the live environment. So for example, if I were to take half a lot out here, I don't immediately see that half a lot. I mean, I don't see that trade on the chart, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, it's just the way it is. So fully functioning, you can back test. Um, and I find it really useful to go back after a day's trading and just retrade the whole session and see you know how Novabot would have performed. Um, 
that's in visual mode. Um, if you want to test for the entire period very quickly, and you can do this over multiple periods, then you can, I'm going to stop this. You can take it out of visual mode and you can just run it over an extended period. And I just want to say a couple of things. If you do that and you have drawdown limit, pause on drawdown, then Novabot will stop working the minute it hits whatever drawdown limit you've got set here, and then it will restart the following day at that time. If you have it on no, then it will, you know, it will continue. Um, it will ignore this. Um, just a couple of things. If you are going to be testing over, you know, not in visual mode, then you, you need it to be not paused when it starts. Otherwise, you're not going to get any trades, clearly. Um, you can have increment. I'm going to increment on risk 50%. I find that's a good setting. Um, like that. And, you know, you. this is what's really useful to play around. This time filter, I, I find, is quite important, though, less so with the target um, ATR, because um, that tends to keep you out of ranges anyway. But if you want to trade it, for example, just the New York session, um, that's 1330 GMT to say nine o'clock my time, so seven o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. And then if you take visual mode off and you run, see it happens very quickly. Now, if you want to see your profit and loss for the period displayed over here, you you just need to right click and go viewing options and put quick trade buttons on. So you can see that Novabot would have made 3% profit. And then if you want to see more details of your stats, you look at the trade watch, you turn this on at the bottom here, and there you can see your equity curve and the trade statistics. So the drawdown was two point nearly three percent balance drawdown um 14 trades nine winners um so really you know they Novabot did quite considerably better than i did by trading man you know trading the bot manually um, then you can go back and actually analyze what actually happened so the yellow line obviously indicates you know where trade was taken what sl was used and you can go back and look at exactly what happened. Just see if I've got follow on trade enabled. And then you can play around with certain things. So you can say, okay, well, what, what would happen if I only let's make my take profit only 120% there? What happens? So I went, still made 2%, but my drawdown was considerably less. And my profitability, I, mean, I had 10 winning trades, 16 total trades. So, you know, these, and obviously they vary day by day, but I've that's how I came up with the 20 setting for the target as being best. That's back testing over many, many um, months. Okay, what happens if I don't increment on risk? Play that again. Not much of a change. Okay, that. So, you know, then the lots adjuster panel is all manual sort of settings, so they don't really affect it when you're back testing um, in non visual mode. Uh, what happens if I didn't use a time filter, for example? Probably won't make a huge difference because. As I say, the yeah, the target keeps you out of ranges anyway. But anyway, so that's how the back testing is set up. That's how you use it. Um, and thanks for your attention. Have a great day.